Today we're going to go over how to set up an elementary grade book. The first thing that we are going to do is find where our grade sheet is. One way is to go over to your main menu on the left, select grade book, then grade sheet. This will open up your grade sheet area and display your students with your grade sheets. Another way to do this is to go back to your home screen and you'll see that uh, my home screen right now is blank, but I'm going to add a tile for my grade sheet and a tile for my attendance. To do that, I'm going to go over here to the right select class tiles. I have select attendance tile and select grade sheet tile. Choose next and run process. I have two successful records. None failed. I'm going to close this and now you'll see I have an attendance tile and a grade sheet tile on my home screen. I could reorder these tiles simply by moving them. To put them in a different order if I choose. We are going to select our grade sheet tile. And that puts us back where we were when we went through the finding our grade sheet through the menu. This is a much quicker way to get to your student's grade sheet. You'll notice that at this time, I don't really have anything to, sh any way to enter grades. So the first thing I need to do is go over to my settings, select academic standards display under display settings. And here I can choose the academic standards for my class that I need to score on. I'm going to say save and back. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use my breadcrumbs to go back to my grade sheet. Now you'll notice that I have this double chevron showing on my page. This allows me to open my grade sheet and see my academic standards. And then under the academic standards, if I open those, I'll see the skills associated with them. From here, it's very simple to start entering grades. If I choose a <clears throat> an area that I want to enter grades. I choose an area that I want to enter grades. I select this enter scoring mode and you'll notice now I can enter grades individually for a student simply by clicking on the box and entering the grade. A faster way to enter grades would be to go up to the title select that title and select mass score. Once I get this, I have this one box. I can say that I want to give everyone the same grade of three for this area and save. You'll now notice that everyone has a score of three. Then if I simply want to change an individual grade for one student, I can just select that one student, select a different grade, and that changes, leaving the rest of them all the same. And you can do this for multiple areas at a time and just hit the mass score, enter the grade for the student, and save. Once I'm done doing my scoring, I can
can simply exit scoring mode. And now you'll see that the students that have been graded and anything that may be missing. If you choose before the end of the grading period that you need to make some changes, you simply enter scoring mode again. You can again overwrite some grades by going to the math score and changing grades here. And if you've already put grades in there, you will want to select the overwrite scores and save. And that will change all of the scores that are in there. And then you can simply edit the individual store scores as needed again. And then exit scoring mode and we've scored our grades for our students. You can close the Chevron up and then open it for any individual area that you want to score on. When you're all done, if you don't want to see all of the standards, if you, you can close this Chevron and that hides them behind the S1, or you select it again and that opens them up. To enter comments, you want to make sure that you can see this S1, select it, and then select the add edit comments for grading period. Once you do this, this opens up the freeform area. You could enter a freeform comment for each individual student, but a faster way is if you have a comment that you want to use for all students, you can select that, click on the checkbox, and now you can see all students have the same comment that will appear on their grade sheet. If you want to add additional comments for an individual student, click on the conversation bubble, and that opens up that comment area. You can put in an additional comment, and then say done, and you'll see that you have additional comments for that individual students, but not the others. If you are not happy with the mass comments that you did or any of the, co the comments below, you clear the column and that starts over again. Again, add your comment. And you'll have those comments for everyone. To see if you have missing comments for a student, you can look for this green plus. That means a comment has not been added for that student. And so you will know that you're, you would need to add something additional in there. Once you're all done with the comp adding of your comments, you can say save and back or save changes. And then return to grade sheet. You'll see that now you can see individual that all the students that have comments added have this conversational bubble. If they don't have that, they are missing a comment. If you want to see what the comment is, simply select in that conversational bubble and you'll see what the comment is that's for that student for this grading period and then close it. If you need to edit it, you can go up to the S1 again and simply select the add or edit comments for grading period. And then you can add additional comments as needed for the students. Once you're done, you would save changes and then return to your grade sheet. Again, we use this double chevron to open and close areas, to open the skills underneath each area.
and then close them as needed. It's very quick and easy to see if you have graded students, because if you have not, you'll have a blank area under the screen. It's just that simple to add your comments and your grades for your grading period. Then when you're all done, you can also just go back to your home screen and now you'll see your tiles. If you needed to take attendance, you can go to the daily attendance tile and you can, it's a quick shot to see your attendance. And then back to your home screen. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.